Mother Nature setting a very different tone in that state as residents are rushing to get out of the state in the path of Hurricane Milton. And given, of course, just how fresh the impact of Hurricane Helene still is. And here's a look at some of the uh, freeways, people mm -hmm. just trying to get out of uh, Florida this morning and uh, overnight. And given the fact that uh, they are still reeling from the last hurricane uh, last week, all of this is starting to wear a little thin, even on the professionals. Have a look at this. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. Um, when is it maximum sustained? All right, the impact there, you can hear it in the voice of this uh, veteran uh, weather uh, forecaster, and they're, they're calling this a once in a lifetime, once in a hundred year storm care. Mm -hmm. And joining us now is Global's Chief Meteorologist, Anthony Farnell. You yeah. know that meteorologist quite well. Yeah, I've met him uh, a couple of times. I mean, in South Florida, he is uh, the guru of hurricane forecasting. He's been doing it for decades. The last time he got that emotional uh, was Maria, and that was uh, talking in, in Spanish to people in Puerto Rico saying, this is going to be your storm, and this is going to leave a lasting scar for, for months, if not years. So that's kind of the tone for for central florida all right tell us a bit about to milton uh, what we can expect uh, we hear it's been downgraded this morning yeah and that is uh, the concern in a different way for messaging purposes everybody is saying okay this is downgraded from its peak intensity yesterday was a category five the fifth strongest hurricane ever in the atlantic so it was just an incredible intensification yesterday Yes, Jeff, it's been downgraded and it may continue to weaken into landfall, but it's also expanding out. The wind field is getting much larger. And as we go to our satellite imagery, you can kind of see it doesn't look quite as perfect as it did yesterday. That pinpoint eye has actually expanded out. It's gone through an eye wall replacement cycle. And uh, what that means is the wind field is expanding out, but it also weakens the core. There's a chance for it to be Cat 5 again this afternoon, but we are going to see a weakening storm at landfall, which now looks like tomorrow night, Wednesday night uh, in Florida, probably near Tampa. And that, of course, is the big concern because uh, there's, there's a lot of people mm. that live in Tampa, down to Fort Myers, Naples. A lot of Canadians are interested as well because this is, uh, I mean, getting set for snowbird season, people heading down that way. Uh, so this track, there's the latest from the National Hurricane Center, bringing it uh, just south of Tampa, and that could be a better situation with winds offshore on the north side of the track, but still a four-meter storm surge. That's, that's just uh, incredible to see, and it doesn't get better down the coast for maybe up to five meters. Some of these areas were hit really hard last year. And, oh yeah, two weeks ago. You guys remember, uh, Helene? Of course, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we were, yeah, of course, we were talking about that, and that's why, I mean, and that's what we're seeing, that, that meteorologist being, it's so raw and real, because they haven't even recovered. They haven't even gotten over that and the yeah. cleanup from Helene, and now they're dealing with this. Yeah, so what they've been doing, uh, authorities are, okay, we have all this debris, everybody on their street corner has all this flood damage from the record storm surge, especially around St. Petersburg, Tampa, uh, and they're like, we need to get this out of here. So they're just picking it up putting it in a field uh, up above four meters because anything below that's going to flood uh, so that at least that debris isn't going to be floating around and adding to problems. But uh, this is a, a really serious situation and I yeah. see the emotion and, and you know, um, there are a lot of uh, a lot of people that are going to be in the path. And I think a lot of people in Florida are saying, here we go again, unfortunately. Here we go again. Yes. And, and, you know, that's that's it with insurance rates. And some people aren't even able to get insurance. And mm. of course, uh, when you have record temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico and mm -hmm. it all it all comes <laughs> yeah. to yeah. fruition at once. So for sure. All right, Anthony, appreciate you coming in this morning and Thanks. updating us on this. Thank you.